you recommend film school for every aspiring filmmaker? What if someone can't afford it or is not able to get a scholarship? No, not necessarily. I think it's uh, I, I think it's a way to get your films made inexpensively and to be in an environment and with students who are like minded in in certain ways who have um, who share with you you know your time uh, in the universe and uh, who can be very helpful to you because they they have a perspective on what you're trying to do as an artist that actually no one else has because of that so even the even the professors or even you know filmmakers who are well established or famous uh, who come to talk to the students they're still talking from a slightly different place or even a tremendously different place than the peer group so I think there's a great deal that, that can be gotten from that and you know in a short fairly short amount of time and also the different film schools uh, have different ways of specializing in how they teach film. So one of the strengths of NYU, which is clearly the one I know the best, is that everyone works on everybody else's film. Everybody makes films. And it means at the end of that period of time, you know so much about production that I think when you get out in the real world, Nobody can pull the wool over your eyes as to what's going on in production. And the same advice that you gave to those students in terms of keeping a database of everyone in the class, do you recommend that to people that are fresh off the bus to Los Angeles as well? Oh, absolutely. You just never know when you know somebody will become important. I mean, look at the Chinese-American girl who happened to have a background in medicine or, or in science who then went to do this documentary in China, which was a kind of extraordinary uh, putting together um, uh, of two people who had a common interest they wouldn't have known about if I didn't have the database. <laughs>